Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, it is Lent now, the first Sunday of Lent, and here is our weekly Gospel reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live on bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give to you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me, and I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him in reply, It also says, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. The Gospel of the Lord. So we hear in our Gospel this Sunday of the temptations of Christ. And we recall that this took place immediately after his baptism. Um, so after he was baptized by John in the Jordan, he went out into the desert uh, for 40 days and 40 nights um, where he fasted and prayed and spent time with his Heavenly Father as a preparation for his public ministry, which was about to begin. Um, and so we can see this as an extension of, this is Jesus expressing his solidarity with us, just as he did so by entering into baptism, which of course he didn't need, um, but he wanted to show that he was one with us um, in going through a ritual act that was con considered to be for the cleansing from sin. Um, so here he enters into this time of temptation um, in those three areas, right? Um, glory and riches and pleasure um, that so tempt all of us uh, in our fallen humanity. We experience those temptations. And so he experienced them too. Uh, and he didn't give in to them, but from the experience he became, uh, we could say, even better able to assist us in dealing with them ourselves. Um, so as we enter into the season of Lent, uh, we try to combat those temptations to glory and pleasure uh, and ego um, with the disciplines of prayer and fasting and almsgiving, um, uh, which directly contradict the devil's temptations towards us. Um, so as we take up these practices for Lent, may we realize that the Lord has entered in. He understands the struggle that we have. He understands what we're going through, and he stands ready to help us with his grace to overcome those temptations. So uh, Lent is not about what we can achieve. It's not about what we can accomplish by undertaking these additional practices. It's about what the Lord can accomplish in us as we avail ourselves of the graces that he offers us and we allow him to assist us, um, knowing that he's been there too. He understands the struggle. He knows what we're going through, and he wants to come to our aid.